Hello, here is a video on ratio and this time we will see how ratio is used for scale factor, correct? I hope you saw the ratio as comparing numbers. Now scale factor is, let's take this is a picture and let's say the picture size is 3 is to 4. That means the width is 3 and the length is 4, okay? Now what is the area of this picture? Area of the picture is 3 times 4. We say area equals to 3 times 4, which is equals to 12. Correct? Now, if we have some units here, we will not get into units, but let us say if there are units, let's say this is 3 centimeter and this is 4 centimeter, then what is the area units? Centimeter squared. Both get multiplied. Correct? Now, what do we want to do? This is a very, very small picture. Let's scale it. Let's make it bigger and larger, right? So that's how we do it. We'll just make it a bigger and a larger picture, okay? Let's say this is my bigger and a larger picture. Do you see that? And what I did was I scaled it up. I scaled it up by, let us say, two times or three times, okay? If I do it three times, let us say, then what is my width? Three times three, it becomes nine. And what will this become? 3 times 4, that becomes 12. Well, this is not to the scale. You know, 12 centimeters is pretty long. But just let's assume that this is 12 centimeter and this is 9 centimeter. So what did we do? We scaled our picture three times. So in the terms of ratio, what we see is that we had a picture which was 3 is to 4. Now, what we did? We scaled it and we made it 9 is to 12. How did we do this? We times both by the same number and this time it was times by 3. Do you see? So this is called a ratio. Ratio of what is 3? Ratio of width w to 4 is the length of our picture, right? And we scaled it and made it big width and big length. Correct? Now, if you scale it three times, it becomes 9 is to 12. Imagine that we have a picture which is 3 is to 4 and we scale it, let's say, times 2. Then, what is going to be our new width? Times 2 will give us 6, 3 times 2. And for 4, it will give us 4 times 2, 8. So now the new picture will be of size 6 is to 8. Do you get it? 6 is to 8. So we can scale it by any number and get a new size. We can scale things down also. Let us say we have a picture which is 9 to 12. Okay? So I'll just draw here. 9 is to 12 and let's reduce the size correct now let's reduce the size reducing the size means divide let's reduce it by what do you mean if i reduce it by 3 what will i get i will get back 3 and 4 this time let us reduce it by 2 so we'll just half it so any half each number what is half of 9 4 and a half so we can also write 4.5 is to what is half of 12? 6. So it becomes 4 and a half to 6. Well, there is a cost to pay for each picture. You would like to enlarge it? You enlarge it, but it costs money. So sometimes you may like to reduce it. Right? And if you reduce this, you can. You get the same picture, but in a smaller size. So what we say? We scale it down in the same ratio. Do you understand now? So, so ratio you get as by you understand ratios and these ratios which you get by multiplying or dividing are called equivalent ratios. Equivalent ratios. So these are equivalent ratios. Correct? I hope you understand how we started with a simple ratio of 3 to 4 
and enlarge it three times, correct? We can also enlarge it two times and then we could reduce it by the same factor. This factor by which we are enlarging and by which we are reducing is called the scale factor. So we can scale our objects using ratios. Do you see that? That's what we do. Now, very interesting question for you. We started with a square, you remember? So let me again make the square for you. And let's say we started with a small square and we scaled it three times and we got a big square. Correct? Our small square was three units by four units. And when we scaled it times three, then it became what? Three times three, nine and four times twelve. Can you tell me what happened to the area? So this is small area A and this is big area A. So width scaled by 3 times, length scaled by 3 times. What is the ratio of small area to big area? By how many times has the area been scaled? Can you work that out? Think and try it. One way to do it is find area of small number. What is the area of small number? 3 times 4. So it is 3 times 4 equals to 12. And what is the area of big number? 9 times 12. Oh my God! 9 times 12 is a very big number. Correct. But you know it is 9 times 12. Do you see? 9 times 12. Therefore, I can write that a is to A, the big A, is 1 is to 9, not 3 times. 9 times, 3 times 3. Why 3 times 3? Because my length also got multiplied by 3 and width also got multiplied by 3. Do you understand? That's what ratios make. Sides get multiplied once, then the area get multiplied by its product square times. Do you see that? A problem for you. Let us say we make mixture of nuts. Mixture of nuts. So we will like to put some walnuts in it. Let's say we have 50 grams of walnuts. Very healthy, right? And 25 grams of cranberry and 75 grams of let's say almonds very healthy stuff good it's good for a trail right when you go for a walk in humber trail use this mixture beautiful now here can you tell me are these in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 3 what i'm saying is is walnut is to cranberry is to almond are they in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 3 figure it out and what is the scale factor and then you have to find the scale factor for this ratio I say 50 grams of walnut 75 or 25 grams of cranberry and 75 grams of almonds mixed together gives me the ratio of walnut to cranberry to elements in 2 is to 1 is to 3. Is it right or wrong? If it is right, tell me what is the scale factor. Try it out and see if you understand ratios as a scale factor. Okay? Thank you. Have fun.